G'day guys and welcome back to our channel Nick and Helmy. Today we are heading down south to Wollongong taking a little break from our crazy eating. The last time we did a travel vlog was late last year when we went to Port Stephen so we thought good break right? We're gonna go down enjoy the view and not eat. I'm kidding we're gonna be eating for sure but this is the Grand Pacific Drive. Just magnificent. The view is just incredible. That wave, that cliff, that bridge, just statically pleasing to your eyes. To be honest, we have never walked down this bridge before. Yeah. We've always driven through it, so yeah. this is incredible. So, before we head down, we're gonna show you how beautiful Grand Pacific Drive is. Now we are in a small town called Barry. It's about 45 minutes drive south from Wollongong. So I guess we're gonna go down first and make all the way up to Wollongong before going back to Sydney. So it's perfect for day trip. Now this small town is like super lovely. We've been here before. So we meant to go to Jarvis Bay a few months ago, but it was raining so bad and we stopped over to this place, Barry small town and we try the garden which is the cafe and also the famous donut which is ridiculously good now we are back here again in Barry and trying this milkwood bakery and we got ourselves two stuff one is the pie look at that it's huge pie and the other one is sausage roll with beef and pork as well look at that oh my god looks so lovely yes and what i love about this town is yeah. just it's so heritage looking you know um mm -hmm. beautiful it's beautifully maintained yes. but it attracts a lot of tourists for a small town that's right and also if you love you know like the home goods like me for example candles diffuser then you're gonna love this place because it's so cheap and so beautiful as well and there's some places that i will recommend which is the berry tea tea house i think the name and then chocolate gelato of course and of course the donut as well but let's try this one wow this is like oh my goodness fresh pastry this one is super flaky and inside the beef with some onion flavor is so delicious and the good thing is that the portion is big as well so oh of course you have to have tomato sauce <gasps> squid so Helmi got the beef bourguignon pie which is like a beef stew you can see that there's like all that broth inside Juicy, juicy meat. All right, let's give this a go by itself before I put any tomato sauce. Mm. It's a combination of everything. Got the peas, got the carrots, um, onions. onions. Yeah. Wow, beautiful. It's such a like uh, kind of homey dish. It's like this bakery is really, really good. It's really fresh. You can tell by how flaky the skin is. Look at all that crust, so flaky at the top so good look at that one of our friends from New Zealand Peter Nian always claimed that New Zealand has better pies than Australia I don't know maybe maybe if you go to the countryside maybe we can compete with New Zealand who knows <laughs> we gotta get Peter Nian here to try the Australian pies yep some tomato sauce now mm. it's so good though like the, the beef 
The beef is actually juicy and tender. Really, really nice. Do like a steak, you know, like a medium rare steak. It's really nice. Mm. If you're Australian, you'll know that sausage roll are usually about that long. Yeah. But about half of this, the width of this sausage roll. You know, this is big. So this is uh, fucking beef, right? Tell me. Yep. Wow, look how flaky it is. Look at that. My God, I can even hear it. Mm. That's very porky right there. Like very distinct porky taste. But the pastry, man, man, it's so flaky and crunchy. You can see on the top there, you got layers of it. It just breaks apart when you bite through it. Insane. Mm. Inside you got some onion there, but beautiful kind of mixes of beef and pork, but really, really tasting all the pork here. None of the beef so far. It tastes kind of a little bit like chorizo, but not as salty as chorizo. So I always like to put a little bit of tomato sauce. It's like the perfect combo for sausage roll and meat pies. Tomato sauce. <laughs> so which one better? The meat pies or the sausage roll? Well, between the two destroyed food right here, <laughs> I have to pick the pies. The pies is just classic and it's good. It's comforting. Like that beefy broth and that oniony, crispy, flaky pastry, just beautiful. And then you gotta add the master food sauce. <laughs> this is not sponsored by the way, but <laughs> I mean, this is the only brand that they usually give you, but it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Tomato sauce solves every problem. Yep, and of course, coffee. That's right, of course. You know, we are avid coffee lover. If we go anywhere, we have to have our coffee mm -hmm. just to wake us up as well. Oh my god, look at the queue. The queues, help me. I know, I remember back when we visited for the first time, it wasn't that much queue. No, because, because it was raining. Yeah, it was pouring. You can see how vibrant the city is, but amongst many other things, one of the things that really makes Barry really famous is actually this donut van, Barry Donut Van. Now, they used to tour all around Australia in their van, but eventually uh, they settled down in this humble little town called Barry. Yeah, so definitely it's, it's a good stop over uh, before your um, trip down to, let's say, Jarvis Bay and get yourself some donut. Last time we were here, we only ordered one. So now we ordered six. It's, it's actually really, really <laughs> hot, okay? So it's a, it's a cinnamon donut. Very classic, but you can just really smell that cinnamony, freshly fried donut. Beautiful, it's so hot though. But this is gonna be really, really good. You can see that. All that sugar and cinnamon on top. Oh. Nice and mushy kind of feeling. But man, the cinnamon, the sugar, that kind of crystallized sugar on the top there when you bite it, it's crispy like hell. The cinnamon, oh, it's beautiful, it's so aromatic. Man, your nose just gets attracted. As soon as you pass that donut van, man, you don't want to not buy the mm -hmm. donut. It's a classic donut. This is like, you know, this donut that you eat in the afternoon or in the morning, breakfast, I don't know, like it's all day season with some coffee, just beautiful. Ah, mm. oh, this is really good. And we got six just in case if I drop it because first time trying it, I almost drop it. Let me show you the clip. Wow, it's like very soft dough and then because it's freshly made, so you can feel like the, oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god, you're lucky. Oh my god. <laughs> so lucky. See, it's super soft and it just falls apart very easily. After that donut adventure, we are making our way up to Wollongong, but of course, making a little bit of pit stop here in an area called Kayama, which is very famous for the blowhole, which is like this little hole inside the rock during high tide. Basically, it just splashes really really high and um, hopefully we have some high tides today and we can show you some shots oh i can see that so i think today is our lucky day because it's quite high tide
Yep, so that's our lucky day. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, big splashes. Burst out. Yeah, from nothing. The hole. That's the tourist spot. <laughs> tourist comes to see water coming out of a hole. <laughs> see, when you think about Wollongong, you probably think about like the food, the culture, and the city. And further out from Wollongong city, there is this beautiful Nantian temple. It's a Buddhist temple, but it is the biggest Buddhist temple in the Southern Hemisphere. I mean, look at this. We're seeing this pagoda, just absolutely stunning. One tip though, um, <laughs> you gotta dress kind of well. So no shorts. No shorts. So Helmi's got some sarong, sarong style to <laughs> cover it. So unfortunately, as soon as you get to the entrance of the pagoda, they tell you you can't take photos or video inside. But I can tell you inside is a place of serenity and tranquility. Uh, it is just beautiful. One section, there's a calligraphy section. You can smell the aroma of the incense, which is just really comforting. And inside in the middle, there's this statue of Bodhisattva, which is just absolutely incredible. There's a chandelier on the top. And then you got the little bit of that golden glow in the middle. It's just full of radiance, full of that tranquility and peace. Really hard to explain, but when you get there, that's kind of the feeling that I get. If you guys remember our Busan episode in Korea, we actually went to Heidung Yongkungsa temple as well, which is the Buddhist temple by the sea. They also had that Buddha statue, which you can bait as well, exactly like this. So yes, that brings a lot of memory back. Oh, how I wish I can travel right now, but this is incredible. The site is just beautifully maintained. You can see the tiles, just the structure, just so beautiful. Do you see the garden? It looks like Japanese garden, right? So I've been here many times and never get bored of this place. It's so amazing, so calming and tranquil. It's like step out from the hustle bustle of Sydney city. In fact, you can actually stay here, I believe. And you can also have vegetarian lunch here. That was the plan, but then we missed out. So when we came here, they already closed. Oh my god. So if you guys tried before, let us know whether it's good and maybe we try next time. We finally made it to Wollongong after so many pit stops. Now we are currently at Two Smoking Barrels, a place where they do American barbecue. Now this place is actually recommended by one of our viewers that I met in Barry. Thank you so much for the recommendation because look at this, it's super epic. Now we got plate for two. This is the beef brisket, pool pork, sausage as you know I love sausage and we got three sides this is fries mac and cheese and some salad obviously we have to be a little bit healthier and we have two bread rolls uh, sauce I think barbecue and something maybe spicy mayo and pickled veggie can't wait to try this we've got some mac and cheese here uh, I don't know what's on top there's a bit of a crumbs there so looks like it's gonna be really crispy there Nice. So if you dig deeper there, you can see that cheesiness. It's kind of hot as well. So love that combination of crunchiness of the crumb, cheesiness of the macaroni, all that spring onion on top as well. It's really beautiful. Yeah, and the macaroni is just done correctly. It's soft. Mm. Now you saw how they made the beef brisket, right? That was cooked for around seven hours. Now the restaurant only opens a short period of time during lunchtime and then dinner time. That's because everything takes so long to make and then there's so many people coming down here. Reminds you of Black Bear in Sydney. Mm -hmm. That is just 
falling apart. Look how easy it is to snap it off. Effortless. Got a little bit of the fat here as well. Gonna put some of that barbecue sauce. Oh, oh, oh. so soft and tender. It's beautiful. When they were cooking earlier, you can see how dark it is, the beef brisket. Now the top part here, the skin here and all that fatty area, they just marinate that with just salt and pepper. Yeah, it's very American style, so you're gonna have to like dip it in into the barbecue sauce, which gives that tanginess and that sweetness that I love. The tenderness is insane, it's so good. It's really windy, but it's really good. All right, time to try the pulled pork now by itself. Not bad. I do feel it's a little dry though in the middle. It's not as juicy definitely as the beef brisket. Beef brisket is definitely one of my favorites. You gotta order. If you come over here, you gotta order that. That's like so juicy and like, like in your mouth, it's like Whoa. Have to mix it, this one. Otherwise, it does feel a little bit dry though. Tell me trying to be brisket. So good, look at that. She's in heaven. Oh my god. This is really worth it. If you drive, how long is it? One and a half hours for this, worth it. Really good. Sauce. Mm. Must have the sauce. This is so good, right? Mm. Mm. Next one, obviously, sausage because as you know, Helmi loves sausage. So this is like a chorizo sausage with some cheese and I can see it, lots of herbs and spices. Look at that. Right, let's try this. Mm. So normally chorizo is like very salty and garlicky. So this one have garlic, capsicum, herbs and spices but it's balanced in everything and also got cheese as well it's really good so i purposely ordered this because i know he's not gonna have it so it's okay i love my salad you know to counterbalance the cholesterol from all sausage pulled pork and beef brisket mm. a salad it's good <laughs> it's a salad guys but look there's cheese on top of it Feta cheese is fine. Oh. Fat, not feta cheese. Fatty cheese. Hmm? Fatty cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's a joke. Uh. Okay, so the last stop is Wollongong Beach. If you Google what to do in Wollongong, Wollongong Beach is like right on the top because it's actually very beautiful. It's super serene. There's no people here. You know why? Because it's actually quite windy and cold. So we were meant to go swimming, but yeah. I think we're gonna skip that but the beach itself is very beautiful you can see the lighthouse there and it's not far from the CBD like 10 minutes walk so it's very convenient however I think in terms of the restaurant we need some recommendation from you guys because we walk around and couldn't see much of you know restaurant that we should try so if you guys know let us know here so today is very beautiful day for a day trip. We went to a small town called Berry, which is very beautiful. Went to Kayama and of course the temple as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to punch the like button, subscribe and ring the bell notification. And let us know, maybe we should go to Jarvis Bay. Further down, 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 down. See ya. With you in my